motivate voters to affect elections, preserve the principles and values set forth by our founding fathers and our documents, and uphold the ideals of our founding fathers. United PA started out in a restaurant on March 13th of last year, on Friday the 13th, with the Glenn Beck program. We had about 100 people attend. Nobody knew anybody. We were just a bunch of strangers. Don't even do that clock with me. <laughs> started out as a bunch of strangers, very similar to the situation that we have right now. A lot of us are strangers. But I said to everybody in that room, if I had to stuff you all in my living room, I could do that. And we've actually stuffed a lot of people into my kitchen. And um, that's really what this is all about, is getting people together and working together. But anyway, um, six months later, we wound up with 150 members. We changed our name to Unite PA. It really reflects who we are, which is a networking body. And um, now today we actually have almost 300 members and we also have other organizations that have taken on the name Unite PA. But we're more of a facilitator. Um, we have nine principles and we have 12 values and those also reflect Unite PA. And I could go over them, but for the sake of time I'll spare you the, the details. But um, what sets us apart from many of the other grassroots organizations is that other than educating and motivating the voters, Unite PA, as I mentioned, has become a facilitator or a networking body. And we hopefully one day will bring the entire state of Pennsylvania in unison and we will be united. Um, we've done that through the Unite PA update that we send out. I send that, actually I spend hours every day uh, working on that and vetting all the things that I send out. I used to be a public affairs officer, so I spend a lot of time making sure that it's not information that someone's going to go, oh, I've already seen this on Drudge Report. Um, so it's important information. It's important to get into you know, the hands of many other groups. We've actually had people request getting the, the update, which is really inspiring. So on the little card that everyone had filled out, if you do want to sign up for our, our website, you'll get that update every single day. And then on Fridays, we started another uh, program, which I think a lot of people in here have already gotten. Um, we started a program with Org 912. And all the events that are happening that we're doing or that they know of or, or, any, or any, other, any other organization knows of, we've compiled a list and then York 912 compiles that list from the other groups and we send it up every Friday. And I know that a lot of people have websites you can want to go look at our calendar. Da, da, da. Well, oh my gosh, there's so many websites. This way you get it in your inbox. It's a nice compact little package and you go, oh, this is what's happening next week. So if anybody wants to participate in that, and they want to submit their events, that's an awesome tool because then every Friday we get a list of everything that's happening in Pennsylvania and we have one person dedicated to making sure that all that information is together. But you can info at unitepa.org, you can send that to us and I will direct you to the person that's putting that together. So Troy from York is not here, but I do thank him for putting that together. Um, uh, that's pretty much it for Unite PA. I'm just really happy to see everybody here, and uh, thank you for not timing me. Is there anybody else in our group that would like to add anything?